great. A lot of noise in here today. I'm actually the guy that's been the architect of getting the budget out in the 60-day session for the last three years. And we're attempting to do it again this year. Now, when it comes to WVU and Marshall, and that seems to be the main contention point in here, except for maybe the Mark Train, and far as I'm from that area, and I had uh, Secretary White in my office here earlier uh, this year, and I asked him, we'll clear that one up first. And uh, on the funding for that, I said, how many riders we got? And he goes, well, they're up. And I go, oh, really? He goes, yeah, we had 12 up from five. And to be able to put over $3 million into the Mark Train when you got that many riders is a problem. And that's in my area. So it's out of the budget. Isn't that odd that the Senate president is saying to take something out of the budget for his area? When most of the time you hear people barking, I need this, I need that for my district. I got I got to have it. Got to have it. Okay. So now let's talk about WVU and Marshall because we did we had uh, 12 million, 6 million uh, respectively WVU Marshall on this. The house was 17 mil, 18 million and what was Marshall? I can't remember. Do I have to guess at it? 10 You have to keep in mind their perspective on what's going on on this. And they have just as much as right as what we do. So dealing with this budget is a compromise. And you can have a budget conference and you can drag it all the way to June the 30th. But you've accomplished nothing. You've accomplished nothing at all. Here's what you do accomplish. And when I spoke with Guy and Gilbert the other day, and we were talking about bringing people in the state of West Virginia, having students, having people in our state that are having babies that grow up to go to school. I said, can you work with us? I said, I get the budget cuts too high, both of them, the House and the Senate. And I said, what is it that you guys could go along with to help with this? And they go, well, why don't you treat us like the other agencies and other schools and do one and a half percent? And I said, done. We'll get ready and do that. And we'll get ready and keep you funded. And I'll have to be honest with you. I was hoping for it to be in the general revenue budget, not in the surplus. My mind's changed a little bit on that though now. And there's a reason for that. If you're taking the money out of surplus, and it's going to be there, ladies and gentlemen, there's no question about that. It's going to be there. They're going to get a lump sum payment up front. That lump sum payment up front is probably more valuable to them to help offset the one and a half percent cut they have. Yeah, more valuable. It's a greater asset to them, especially in times of COVID. So, I had to think this through, and I said to myself, no, this is a better way of doing it. Now, if you're reducing that number in the budget, so next year you get there, and the, so you look, have a look back. Everybody's worried about that. Well, the governor sets the budget. The governor doesn't have to take a photocopier and take last year's budget, that's the one we're talking about right now, and say, that's what we're having the following year. I applaud this governor, and that is, is that he's made to flat, maintain basically a flat line budget if this one passes for three years. That's unheard of. While we're still not decreasing the services to our people, including higher education in the state of West Virginia. So this is a better path at this point in time. 
Because if we want to go into and reject this, which, you know, in a way, I, it's crossed my mind that I'd like to reject it and send it back over there to them, but it would be foolish. It would be a foolish maneuver about like what they did yesterday. We don't need to be fools. What we need to do is be smart about hand, how we're handling the taxpayer dollars in the state of West Virginia. And I would make the argument that we are being smart about how we're handling the taxpayers' dollars. And I would say that we're being smarter. The governor is, the Senate is, and even the House is. Households have the same discussion with a lot less commas in it on how to go about funding their households. But ultimately is that we want to pay our bills and we want to keep our institution whole. And this is the way to what we have before us without walking out on the plank and not knowing for sure what it is when we dive off of it. We know right now that if we approve this, the WVU Marshall will be fully funded minus the one and a half percent, but with the kicker of getting it up front out of the surplus. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to quit arguing about this. All of us care. And like I said, I personally had reservations about it until I got all the details and got an understanding of what's going on. And I'm going to be a yes vote on this. And let's just get the job done. We've got many more bills in front of us for everybody. And anybody, I'm not going to yield. I'm going back to the podium. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.